One of the world's oldest travel companies grounded, along with its aircraft in many parts of the world, including London's Gatwick Airport. The rich history of Thomas Cook unable to save it from collapse. More than 20,000 employees face redundancy. The bankruptcy is a disaster for more than one million people who've booked travel with Thomas Cook. Would-be holidaymakers now have to wait and try to get their money back through various consumer protection schemes. And some of the 600,000 people around the world on holiday are now stranded. Pretty frustrated, to say the least. Annoyed. Well, it is a problem, but it's not a problem. We'll get home eventually. Just got a waiting game, right? I hope. Despite a billion-dollar injection of cash earlier this year, the company said it needed an additional $250 million to stay afloat. I would like to say sorry to all our customers, those who are on holiday with us now and those who have booked with us in the coming months. Bringing tourists home will be a mammoth task. Britain's Civil Aviation Authority says emergency flights are ready to go. This is the largest repatriation uh, since the Second World War and we will be bringing home everybody um, back, back to the UK as close as possible to their return date. Well, they can't get in either. Tens of millions of dollars are also believed to be owed to hotels in countries in Egypt, Turkey and Tunisia. One hotel there briefly refused to let Thomas Cook customers leave, demanding money, fearing they would not get paid. Thomas Cook was rescued from near bankruptcy eight years ago, and how people book their holidays has added to the company's plight. High street travel shops have been facing stiff competition from the internet. And while package holidays, like those from Thomas Cook, often provide good value, many consumers are now shopping around online, booking their accommodation and flight separately to create a bespoke travel experience. Analysts say the company struggled to compete, and there are accusations of mismanagement, with the company hemorrhaging money recently. Thomas Cook is a marvellous brand. It has an incredible heritage, but I'm afraid in the 21st century, in the ferocious competition of the travel industry, that counts for nothing. All that matters is, do you have a profitable business? And sadly, in the case of Thomas Cook, we know the answer is no. A 178-year-old business steeped in history, but apparently failing to keep up with modern times. Catherine Stansel, Al Jazeera, London.